Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Counterside video. Alright, so I just completed a guide yesterday for the client one. If you guys are struggling with any of the stages, uh, I basically released a video yesterday where I teach you guys how to beat the stage with one condition where you can win within certain phases, three phases, four phases, depending on the, the stage, right? The defeat all enemies without retreating, you can do it on a separate try and this one is very easy compared to this one. Alright, the one that most players stuck on are trying to tinker and try to swap the ships around to try to do it within certain phases. Now one thing that you guys might not be aware of, at the end of the stage 1-4, there's this particular gear that you have a chance to obtain. So this is called the Hemsworth Magazine T6. It's for riflemen only, for steel lane riflemen only. It's this guy right here. Alright, so you can only give it to him. You can't give it to any other rifleman. Alright, not even the admin rifleman, you can't equip those. Same goes for the free order act 2, alright? This will give you this particular uh, point taker T6 for steel lane shield man only, alright? Which have a fixed CC rest option in the middle. And lastly, we have this particular one, uh, where you can farm on the last stage, which gives you unbreakable. This is for steel lane hounds only. This is very good, alright? So it's this one, this one I would say try to get this. This is for the hound, the tank. Uh, and I will try to farm this later on if I can, try to get a few of these. Uh, the option though, I would prefer it to be HP, it will take a while, but if you are running mech team, this is something that you want to try to farm for. Uh, auto wing this stage is going to be a pain in the butt though, so keep that in mind, you are going to need a bunch of strong units. Now with that all being said and done, once you have completed all of these three, you don't really need to three star them, just two or even one star them will do, you will then have access to the supply operation for the military supply acquisition right here, alright, 1-5, 1-6, 1-7 which will give you even more gear modes and we're gonna discuss about that in this video hopefully some guides for you guys now let's talk about the enemies in general alright, if you guys are struggling in this particular stage for the 1-5 your enemy is none other than stronghold level 100 and this big plane, the tower type at level 100 so the pattern of all these three stages are the same, basically it's two waves and you're going to need to defeat the plane within that two waves. Now once you go to 1-6, you can notice now there's three enemies. Now there's Stronghold, Scout and there's this plane now at level 105 and going into the hardest one, this particular one, the enemy, the same Scout, Stronghold and the plane but this time it's 110. I tend to be more hesitant to do guides for stages like this because whenever I do guides, I try to use my own units that I feel comfortable with and then players are going to say, hey, if I don't have that unit, how do I do it, right? Can I use this unit or can I use this unit? So in the end, when you make guides, you have to cater towards a more broad spectrum of players because if I use like Gayun for example, there, there's going to be somebody out there who don't have Gayun. So I figured uh, this is going to be a very versatile guide so keep that in mind do not think that there's only one way for you to do this i'm just showing you guys i'm going to show you guys the battle as well so hopefully you guys get the idea this is what i i'm gonna use all right so we have rosara right here evelyn we have adele lee yumi and gayun and claudia so in this particular order i'm going to place rosara first all right followed by evelyn these two flying units first place adele and then you can see I place Ayn and Zwei, and I place Administrator Rifleman. Now again, you might not have some of these units, but it's fine, you can always swap them out. The Twins is not 100% needed. You can swap them with Chifuyu, which I'm going to show you guys later. Alright, because since all these three stages are sort of structured the same, the, the way of you to fight the enemies are the same. So hopefully that's going to give you guys an idea. Same goes for this guy, you don't really need this guy. In fact, you can replace him with Carl Wong or whatever. So the important note, thing to note right here is you want to have at least 2 to 3 rangers that can hit the air. In this case, Adele can't hit the air because she's ground only. Again, if you don't have Adele, I strongly, strongly believe Xiaolin will work, alright? But Adele is going to be way better because there's plenty of soldiers right here. In terms of the ship, you can either go for New Ohio, you can go for Enterprise, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to use Enterprise because I think that's going to be the more standard one. Alright, let's give it, a, give it a run. I'm going to narrate along the way. Uh, hopefully you guys can see what what we're trying to achieve right here. Alright, just gonna leave it auto. Okay, so enemy have stronghold right there and then you have this soldier dropping down. Notice this plane is flying towards you. This plane will be circling around the entire time. Now you have the timer on top about 1 minute 30 seconds to destroy the plane within the first wave. So that's your objective. You know, target the plane while the soldiers are at the bottom doing whatever. Alright. So, we're gonna go in 
destroy the bottom part of the uh, soldiers. Leo Mills should be able to tank everyone. Alright, so now Rosaria and Gayun should be focusing on the plane. And the rifleman as well, right? Again, if you don't have the rifleman, feel free to use uh, Carl Wong or whatever. There, wave 1 done. So wave 2 is the same thing. Alright, as you can see, this is full auto. Uh, basically teaching you guys how to auto the stage with these units. Alright, so the plane... Adele died somewhat, but it's okay, we redeploy her, we have plenty of cost anyways. Alright, so make sure to have... I, I wouldn't say you need like super good gears on all your units, I'm gonna show my gears shortly. But just decent gears, alright, just decent gears. I will reveal all my gears so that you guys can have a rough idea. Again, please use this guy as a as a guideline for you guys. Try to observe what's happening right now. Alright, you have two front lines to take hits. Evelyn to basically heal everyone. Two rangers to try to hit the plane, right? So try to look from that perspective. If you don't have certain units, you can always swap them out accordingly. Like for example, Claudia. If you don't have Claudia Nelson, use Arius instead. It doesn't matter. You can use Chinatsu. It probably doesn't matter. Alright, so that's for 1-5. Alright, let's glance through the gears quickly. So Rosara has attack right here. As you can see, my attack is 8.3k, full attack gear. Okay, nothing special right there. Evelyn is attack speed. These are all my PvP gears. I never like try to swap anything just for the gear specifically. Uh, Adele attack speed. I use CDR on PvP, but I decide to use attack speed for, for this particular stage right here. In PvE, Adele with attack speed is going to be slightly better. We have Leomi with HP and evasion. Okay, so we have a Gaeon with CDR right here. This is a PvP gear. Claudia Nelson with CDR. We have Twins with HP and Evasion. Uh, and then this guy with Attack Speed. Now let's move on to the harder stage. This is going to be slightly harder. The Border City Security Management. So we're going to jump into this. And as you can see, same team. Alright, same ship. We're going to do everything the same. But just to show you guys, I'm going to swap this Striker with Chifuyu for example. I know some people might not have the twins. I can understand that there are some free to play. So let me use... You know what? Let's use her. Let's use her, which I think most players are going to try to pull for her. Now she's going to be easily obtainable. And then let's replace this guy with, let's say, Shinja, which is something that's more accessible, in my opinion, to a lot of people. Alright, so let me show you the gear. Attack speed on her. So we have a total of 20% attack speed. And then for Shinja, I have attack and HP. These are the stats. Alright, so let's go here. We're going to auto 1-6. So as you can see, stage-wise is exactly the same, right? Exactly the same stage. Again, with these planes and stuff. So Leo Mi is the fourth one, so Leo Mi is going to come out. This is why you have Adele moving first before Leo Mi, so that you have those small little striker babies to tank for her. Alright, so we're going to try to destroy the plane. Leomi should be staying alive throughout because you have Claudia Nelson deployed right now. Oh wait, Leomi died right there. Okay, Leomi is dead. But if you have Adele, shouldn't be a problem. Like as you can see, the babies are doing the tank. Okay, so now my Shinja is out. My Gayun and Rosaira will constantly try to hit the plane. As you can see, the timer on top, we have about 20 seconds left to try to destroy the plane. Which is... Okay, Leomi is back. Okay, so wave 1 is done, so now we have wave 2. Alright, so far looking good. Claudia Nelson at the back, Shinja is there. Rosara out backwards, but I don't think it matters so much. So now we have a bunch of uh, more front lines coming in. So I can't see the plane's HP. Is the plane at half HP? Okay, less than half already. So wave 2, we are definitely doing way better. Rosara just done Rosara just does a lot of damage. She just she just deals so much. Like I would say just pull for her uh, for PvE. Even if you don't care about PvP, she's strong in PvP for sure. But for PvE, like she's just the queen. The amount of damage she does is insane. Let me show you. L look at this. Look at how much Rosara is doing. 1.1 million. Alright, so again, if you don't have her, I think Carl Wong might work. I, I have never tried Carl Wong, 
but definitely Rosaria, Adele, like they do more than Gayun, right? As you guys can see. Okay, so moving on to the last one, which is the third stage. This is going to be the hardest stage. All right, so we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna use everything the same. Again, a uh, new Ohio is gonna be pretty good here. If you have new Ohio, I would recommend using new Ohio. Maybe you lack the damage. New Ohio will help because there are quite a number of soldiers here, right? But just to demonstrate, for the ease of demonstration, I think I'm gonna use Enterprise. I've tried both and both works with this team. All right, if you're trying to auto uh, repeat a bunch of these stages, so this is the team that I recommend. Again, this time I Chifu you, just to show you guys that uh, you can swap certain units around and still make it work. Chifu you with defense and HP. All right, so these are the stats. Okay, so this time the plane, level 110. The enemies are also level 110. Okay, so hopefully we make some of the striker babies here. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, usually the trouble is either the Liumi surviving or not. But if you think that she can't survive, maybe you can swap the positioning of your Gayun and Claudia Nelson. The important thing is having the heal. Once Claudia Nelson moves towards her, the heal is gonna help her significantly. Right? Okay, so focus on the plane for now. So Nachifuyu is out as well. So Liyomi did die right there, unfortunately, but we're going to try to bring her back. But it's not too important because we have Chifuyu as a front line. Which is why you don't want to stack two front lines. Uh, you want to position one front line in the slightly first half and then the other front line slightly later. Alright, so Shinja in this case, she does provide buffs. If you don't have Liyomi for whatever reason, you could try Heal Day as well. The SR Heal Day. I believe she's going to work. Uh, just some options for you guys to tinker around. Alright, so so far looking good. Two waves, try to defeat the enemy. The second wave is usually, usually the easier one. The first wave are usually the harder one. You can see the plane is like 10% left or what whatsoever. So Rosara coming here to chase the plane, just to destroy it. And the plane crash, boom. Alright, so ideally, the objective is to take down the, the big gigantic plane twice. That's the whole objective throughout in the entire battle. Alright guys, so that's the guide for how you can 3 star or auto all of this stage. Again, if you don't have the units, feel free to swap them around. And yes, any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Maybe in the next guide, I will talk a little bit more in details about each of the specific gear and which one I think is the best one. Stay tuned for that. Have a nice day. Goodbye.